Hi, Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today on another one of my junk journal tutorials. So we're going to continue with this um, signature page um, that we did. So last time we made this pocket, did the hole, decorated the tag and made these um, clusters and um, this little tag here. So I said today we would decorate this pocket and you remember I'd already done a little bit of stamping on there so we want to cover this, certainly want to cover up staples and um, and make a little insert there. So I went to the same page as where I got um, this image here and thought I'd try and um, do something. So this is off the cuff but I have thought about it so um, what I've got is I found this which is the same rose there it says for you I might put a different word on top there which I thought would go over there but I thought I might put a little bit of map paper behind um, it um, I found this this was on the same page or it was on a different page actually so it's the same rose so I thought uh, that that could go on um, either I'm either going to put it on the back of this and I could have that as the tag it's a different rose but that could be what goes in that pocket although when I originally pulled it out my thought was that it would go on the back there um, actually that is the thoughts that I had and that I would use this doily and this in some way to make this tag which I've cut four by four to to go in here and that sort of fits in there quite nicely and I also want to line that so I've got a bit of book paper which I've just sort of ripped down um, but I need to rip it down a bit more um, it doesn't actually need to go all the way in so I might just rip it across there um, and I might actually just rip instead of using my ruler just give that a bit of a rip so that that will go in there ready I've got a bit of ribbon there which I thought I might put across that sort of folded edge there and this needs <clears throat> ripping up to go on here so we need to make it slightly smaller so if that's going to go up there we need to get rid of that bit from there we go up there like so and stick that on there like that ready for that to go on there like so might put something else behind there so what we need to do is age all this stuff because it's all looking a little bit too nicey nicey so I'm going to move this out of the way and bring in my bit of scrap here that I was using to blend on that's got a bit of Next, we use this side. Got a bit of, got a bit of glue on that side actually. Got a bit of glue in the middle. We'll do it like this. So I've got a nice big page to distress on. And what I'll do is I'll speed up whilst I'm doing the the distressing. Okay. Okay, so that's them all distressed, and I'm just going to add um, a bit of script 
um, over them. Just putting these round the edge in like I've done before. the timer telling me what's in the oven is ready. I'll just finish this bit. enough on there, put those over on my chamois and then we're just ready to stick it all together. So I'm going to go and sort out what's in the oven and then we'll come back. Okay so we're all sorted so uh, oh that's not going on there <laughs> um, decide which side I want to be the journaling side I think the other side so my thoughts were that I would stick that on and then have those sides folded over and coming over here. I thought that might be quite cool. So we'll see how that works. Put some glue over that. I do have some smaller doilies, some stumping up smaller doilies, but I couldn't find them. Could not find them. The love nor money. So I'm now, as I'm speaking, thinking, ah, I think I know where they are. But too late doing this now. So make that a whole bit smaller. Just gonna go around these edges. Actually I'm gonna do that with Tombow, it's easier. So we'll just do this. Edges. Where there might be some thicker bits. And then fold them over. So we've got a bit of edging on this journaling card. I don't mind that that's ripped. There we go. And let me just stick that on the inside there. I think it might need a bit of book page behind it. Uh, I got some book page scraps. I thought I had some from where I ripped there. I do. I do. So there a bit. Um, I don't need any doily, it's already got doily. Um, maybe a bit of a map sticking out. 
not the greatest piece to have sticking out and then it sort of brings in the mapping from the cluster yeah I think I might do that so need a little bit more distressing now when just when we thought we'd done it all I mean the page is quite nicely yellowed anyway on this book page Maps a bit too bright, I think. So let's stick them down. It is really just anything goes, and whatever is aesthetically pleasing to you is what you go with. No rules, and that's what I really like. I just grab a bit, rip a bit, stick a bit. I'm really find this very liberating from my more precise measured things. Prefer that side actually. In my normal crafting, sort of sometimes I'm precise to a sixteenth of an inch on some things. So I quite like this where it's shove it down. that pull out a bit more there. so that's me that's my journaling card it's quite a nice little effect that so now we need to stick all this on the envelope you can see why now I didn't decorate the back because it's probably picking up all sorts so I'll be able to sort of cover it after so we've got this to go in there there's me punch stick that on there to hold it down so Some people use glue sticks, which would be quicker, but I'm not convinced that any glue stick I buy in the UK would stick long enough, because I basically want this to last forever. Something that maybe my grandchildren, if I ever get any, will enjoy looking at. I wonder if in generations to come we'll have like YouTube. It'll probably be digitally enhanced somewhere. <laughs> um, it'll be like, gosh, did people really do that? There we go. I'll stick that down. I know when I was a kid, the thought of having a phone that you could carry around with you all the time, that you'd be able to watch videos on. Didn't even have videos when I was a kid. So, f you know, sort of films just like the cinema or the TV, did have a TV, um, that you'd be able to watch and even film on. It's just amazing. And then sort of share it across the world. It's quite phenomenal, really, isn't it? Right, my thoughts was I might have a bit of doily under that. So that's that done. And that to go inside. So we want to cover that. Where's my bit of bit of lace? I thought we'd 
have going across there. It's not lace really, is it? It's that's why it's called. I don't know if I want something behind it. Hmm. What have I just done with that bit? I'm going to rip another because it was too neat at the top. So I love that. This paper is a lot thicker than the uh, dictionary paper I used on that. So I can ink this a bit better. So I'll stick that on there. And have my little ribbon on top. That's a bit better, I think. I'm running out of battery now, so I ran out of space, and I'm running out of battery. But we are nearly done, so I am hoping that I'll get through this. Right, now I'll put a bit of this on. Just stick that ribbon across. stick that on top to hold it in place and then I'm going to put that we might have a word on there so we've got friendship kindness uh, beauty no that says believe uh, let's have love then or I might just leave it as it is leave it as for you um, put a bit of this doily poking out a bit too big I might actually put put that word on because I think it would look better. I might put the love over where it says for so that it's actually love you. Oh, sometimes I'm cooking on gas. Let's get that. Aged around the edge. Yep, love it. Under there. I'm not sure you can see what's going on down there. Apologies. 
I didn't really miss anything, apart from me getting glue everywhere. There we go. Stick that there, take that off. I'm going to get a pair of scissors and snip that there a bit. Got the glue coming through there a bit. So I won't close it. And then she says promptly then closing it. And then I'm just going to stick that on the back as it is. And that will be good enough. And that will be done. My battery is holding. So just stick that in the centre. Around there. So we've got green in it so it picks up the green and we've got the rose that we'll pick up there'll be a rose in there we've got roses here we've got a nice journaling card there hmm I'll just stick that down a bit better or I'll just rip it off because if it's going to rip off anyway I may as well rip off that'll be fine and uh, so that's it. So we just need to do the pocket insert there next time. And then that will be this page complete. So hope you like that. I will take pictures of it and uh, put it all over on my blog, nigesa.co.uk. And um, yeah, hope you're enjoying it. So uh, yeah, we'll have a the third part next week when I make this bit. Okay, see you again then. Bye-bye.